I'm just not going to give it really credit that this music is spooky. Very spooky. Now I'm 60% sure there's a hunter around this corner. Huh. I was literally positive there was a hunter around that corner. I get the feeling I said the same thing in the juice scenario. Use the helmet key and... Yay! The key's useless now. Let's get rid of it. So now I'm all ready, whack and load, to enjoy this nice room. What have we got here? Some lovely pictures. There's a fireplace there. We may have seen something similar. Can we inspect the fireplace? A hole opens in the fireplace. That's very descriptive of your game. There's a piano here. Do we get to play Moon, Moon, Moonlight Sonata again? Oh no, it's Sean! He's come back for revenge. I don't think he can poison you this time. Now, watch Magnum go. Oh, I think I missed. Ow! Cheap shot. Danger! Danger! Let's use that, shall we? Let's actually move. What the feck? You can't move for yourself. It's cheating. Ow. Ow, oh, shit. There we go. How many... Did I waste loads I wasted? Okay. Good to know. I may have to take the shotgun for the next area. No, I'll take the magnum. Wow, well, aren't you dead? It's too dark to see. Will you jump down? No. No. And then like with Juice Ganario, there's no cutscene. But yep, yeah, Yorn is now dead, the snake. Took a million magnum rounds. Wow. Bazooka really is the most effective thing against it. Who would have thought? And I think I get to do that all again later. Yay! Now, what I'm going to do is heal up at the um, save room with whatever supplies I've got left. My pharmacy is running low. And then I need to also make sure I've got plenty of space for what's coming up. Right, so I'm going to put the shotgun away for the moment. Okay, I've got three first aid sprays, so I'm going to take one next, and ooh, green and blue. So can I mix these up? Yes. Gets a little, like, teal colour. Well, regardless, it's still two green herbs and a blue herb. That does equal more health than one green herb on its own, so... Alright, yeah, let's take a first aid spray. Put a save on it. And if I die horribly, I die horribly. I have done no save rooms of Western Evil before, by the way. And did they end well? Yeah, no. I'll let you guess how far I got. I'm trying to actually think well, how far did I get in the DS version. That's the one I got the furthest in. Don't know how. I was playing as Drew, by the way. In the rebirth mode, which is changes everything up in this again. For anyone that doesn't know. It's basically the sort of a remake, but not a remake of this. It's basically the same game, 
same graphics and all that, but adds a new mode. And there's two multiplayer on it as well. Oh, the Many Rooms theme from the Guardhouse plays here. Huh. So Chris wisely decides to jump down here and now it's stuck down here. Well done Chris, we're gonna die in looks like to be a graveyard in the Full Metal Prison. Why is it called Full Metal Prison? 1993 to 1994? Okay. Switch below, will you push it? Yes, we shall. And now this is the part I dread horribly. And I can't believe I made myself do this as Jim. Completely forgetting I didn't need to do it. But here we go. Shit, one way. Ow, there was the right way. Death. Now I know there was another corridor to the right. And if I remember Juice can all your correctly, there were shotgun shells down there. Which I don't really need at this moment in time. And I know there's multiple hunters. Ooh, green herbs. Take it please. And then merge them. Takey takey. Let's not put myself in a bad situation now. And quickly went away, just run the zombie over and go in. So this door was locked from our side it looked like. Oh, It's dusty, it has not been used for a long time and just throwing spaces for no reason. Okay, I can go this way. Okay, I can go that way. I was confused for a second there. And there's a small key here? Do I need a small key? I think I'd take it just to be on the safe side. Freezer. It has not been used for a long time. And now there's a zombie here. I did not actually mean to get hit by you, but I was going to have to do it anyway. But yeah, like I was about to say, there's a zombie there that is in a very cheapy spot that you can't even knife. And usually you have to kill it. By letting it hit, bite you. Not really the greatest fun time, and quickly do this. Now, if we look at the map, we're now in the unexplored area on the second floor to the west. And as we saw before while we was in play, that there is a hunter to Chris's white, but we're gonna go left. Ow. Okay, so there's one magnum. Oh shit. But it doesn't survive two. Oh, so I need a heal. So yeah, it's nice to clear that corridor because we're going to be going back out there. Now, I think if I remember correctly, and it's a very big if. If my brain's up to scratch, there, there may be zombies in here. But also, I think it's Jessica's luck. It is! Will you use this small key? Uh, not this moment in time. I don't know if there's another one. But hello. Zombie, don't grab the cameraman. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Sit your ass down, please. Now, you can get yourself cornered and trapped here, and I can't- No, you need a- not like that! Oh. 
no one saw that. No one saw that at all. No. Oh, hello. There's another zombie. Uh, I don't want you want to use the magnum on the zombie, but I've got no choice. Yeah. I don't think you can find it. Oh, you can. Hello. Why would I have three zombies in here anyway? Who knows? There's no longer three zombies in here. And that, everyone, is how you waste a magnum round. Hello, Bookie. Scrapbook. Raccoon Times, May 27th. 1998. Eminor attack? Woman mutilated? What? That sounds horrible. May 20. Around 10 pm, a 20 year old young woman's body was found by a passerby on the left bank of Marble River in the cider district of Raccoon City. <gasps> oh no. This is horrible. I just repeat myself. Raccoon police assume it to be a grizzly or other animals doing because there are teeth marks along her mutilated arms and left foot that show considerable power. Since she was wearing a hiking boot on her remaining foot, it has been determined that she was attacked in the Arkley Mountains and fell into the river. They are hurrying to identify this woman. Did they ever do that? I don't think we ever find out, but... Rest in peace, mysterious lady. Monsters in Arkley Mountains? Some people claim they've seen monsters in the Arkley Mountains. The monsters are supposedly about the same size as large dogs and usually one in a pack as wolves do. Uh, I believe we met them. This may sound like a group of ordinary wild dogs, but these monsters are surprisingly fierce and hard to hurt. They say these dogs won't bother you unless you rate them, so you smart readers should stay at the Arkley Mountains for the time being. Little fat, I think these are the dogs that escaped from... That one was winning the Keeper's Diary. The one that goes itchy tasty. But if you're looking for a venture, check it out. You wanna try? No! You should not encourage people to check out to see if they can find these dogs that clearly are gonna murder you. Looking Times, July 9th. Mystery on Arkley Mountains. Mountain World Blocked. Due to successive disasters in the Arkley Mountains, the city authorities have decided to block the road leading to the foothills. At the same time, Raccoon police intend to begin the search for lost people with the help of STARS team members. There seems to be a lack of a space between STARS and team. They expect great difficulty almost screwed up then, because of the fast size of Markley Mountains and the primeval forest that... that doesn't say primeval but whatever... forest that covers most of the area. Also, people are still reporting sightings of grotesque monsters in the mountains. Yay! I don't know what I'm mean, but... That sounds horrible. I just want to quickly check out the Keeper's Diary. Here we go. They've been quiet since morning, which is very unusual. I found that some of them had escaped. So this links up to the... Raccoon City Times. That's the reason why there's dogs outside of the mansion. And not because, you know. They just released them into the world and went, Yay! Have fun, doggies! That also notes, I think it's only the dogs that are outside of the mansion. Everything else here is actually locked up. Like the zombies won't wander outside. The hunters. I suppose you could, could technically go outside, but they seem to remain indoors and for some reason infest the mansion like halfway through the game. Or oh, after halfway. Hello? Oh, I could push that. I may have screwed that up. Let's try that again. After exploring this door, I can't actually think what this room is. Oh, it's this room, right. I believe there's another zombie in here. Or two. He has not been used for a long time. I 
No. No. No zombie. Maybe I'm thinking of rebirth mode. So, okay, so I push the button and now there's light in the corner. With this mysterious looking block box on the floor. Which looks like you push shrink in it. Well, we've got a statue here. Let's try and push in this big heavy statue there. Damn. Chris must be really strong to push this, along with Jew as well. Jew pushes this in the in Earth version. And then here we go. That's not all in the way. It's not all the way. Game, it's not all the way. It's really bothering me, it's not all the way. I can't even move it. But the, the space there. <laughs> that, anyway, I'm me up sounding like a child. Let's grab this important item we need to fence the game. The Doom Book, number one. We don't need it yet though. We can put it in the safe box, safe and sound. But there's a meadow in the box. In the book, in the book, not the box. There's a book. A medal from the first Doom Book. It's a very shiny golden medal of an eagle. Nice looking eagle. So yeah, that's the important item for us to actually complete the game. Because we need it to get into the last section. Alright, so what's here? Aha, a door, a secret passage. Does it show up on the map? It does, there's a big box to the north. Increments? I think I pass. I've got six, five, something like that. I'm also going to pass up on the clip. I've only got one spare slot. And I think I've got like 40 clips, so I don't really, I'm not really desperate for it. And I also need to pick up the what's on the floor over there. No, I don't want the ink ribbon. Go away. No one cares about the ink ribbon. Now, this is also an important item to offence the game. And it also means me going back to the garden. Now, where's the nearest safe room? Oh wait, before I forget. I may as well do this now. I don't think there's any other need for a small key again. Oh, hello, Magnum Rounds. Very important. That also means I have a spare slot. Which means I'm not going to go back and click, pick up the clips or the uh, ink ribbon. Why do you ask? Because there's a green hub there I can pick up. Okay, that's more important. But also, this I believe is a supply room. Because there's shotgun shells in here to pick up. Just shotgun shells, apparently. Okay. Always thought there was something else in this room that could be picked up. I think this is also one of the rooms where the battery spawns in. Possibly the original mode? I'm sure it sits in this little chair thing. Now regardless, I've now got full space again. And now if memory serves me correctly, which it doesn't, because I thought this door would be locked. Where does this lead? Where am I? Oh, this long corridor. Is there anything good in here? Green herbs. A zombie in the corner. Oh, 
One into zombie. Okay, I'm gonna reload. I just wanna know what's anything else here. Door is locked, and that is the door with the numpad from the hallway earlier. Okay, the room on the far left. Where are you then? So that I don't need to do. And I can't believe I took that hit. It annoyed the crap out of me. I'm on fine. So yeah, we're now done up here. I've got full inventory, I can't pick anything else up, but I've got all the important necessary stuff. So then, how do we get out of this section, you may ask? Wow, in the basement where there's the only kitchen, there's a door we can use. So let's -a go to the door. Also, creepy ass music is creepy ass. I don't know if anyone's played the DualShock Arranged version where all the music's different. Then, no, this, this specific music's a complete joke. I'm trying to remember how it actually sounds. It will come to me when I play and, like, oh yeah, that's where it plays. And, oh, oh that's Hunt. Yeah, that's not Hunter. Zombie? What is it? Zombie! Fast zombie at that. Fiffin now, look at the way it's travelling. Look at the speed of that fiff. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, papa. Oh. Four messed up then. What the heck is this about? Zombies opening doors? Madness. I think that's the original game's version of a certain special enemy from the remake. Oh, hello, elevator. Why not? That seems rather silly. Right, so where are we? We are now here. Which means I have to go through Hunter Corridor again. But first I have to go through the spiders. But otherwise, yeah, I think I'm doing fine. And we unlock the door. This will lead into the spider corridor. Let's go 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 Yeah everything's fine everything's comfortable I like it 